Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. Welcome to this week's 3CB Quick Hits in which I summarize and synthesize the latest sports med and performance research. This week's paper is an RCT, a randomly controlled trial that examined whether unilateral exercises, in this case a step up, compared to bilateral, in this case a squat, led to greater increases in speed and change of direction. The way the researchers went about it is that they split up the participants into two groups. Both underwent an 18-week training protocol with one difference. One group had the step-up exercise, the other had the squat exercise. Before going into the protocol, each group was tested for speed at 5 and 20 meters and also went through a change of direction test as well. After the 18 weeks, the researchers found no difference between the two groups in terms of speed improvements at 5 and 20 meters. However, the squat group had a significantly better change of direction improvement compared to the step-up group. Now, the reason why is unknown, but it's possible that that difference is because the muscle sequencing of the squat where you descend first, known as the eccentric, and then go into the ascent concentric, more closely reflects a chain of direction movement in which you're first decelerating, which requires a lot of eccentric control, and then accelerating the concentric portion, whereas the step up, that sequence is flipped. First you're stepping up concentric and then coming down control eccentric. That leads to a really interesting possible takeaway that certainly needs to be researched further is that this idea of exercises carrying over to the actual sport may be rooted far more in the underlying mechanism and physiological adaptation. The squat sequencing reflecting the actual chain of direction sequencing rather than the movements being similar on the surface. An interesting thing would be to look at testing two groups with a two leg squat versus a one leg squat and seeing if there's any differences between the two.